Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neiromancer, and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. On your way, or will you stay longer? It's far safer with you. Uh, oh, bloody! Uh, hello. to Baltist again. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus 
is the beast of Metana. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. <laughs> you guys really from Nilfgaard? He's from plowing Metana, damn it! Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the South? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking is what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed Roman. Stay in his house. You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on at the same time. Fight every century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! And you get such a lovely trash in, hey, Al. Man's speechless, but I can see it on his mug, bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, hey, Al. Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret, we'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts.
Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered, thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off our pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that rot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Swags. Yes, Master. So you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that he sold with the Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an oarmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Some of their fruits up there blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. 
Sight. You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Be gone with you. There you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen. But I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. 
It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a few as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hmm. Thanks. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Chrissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title... The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the Queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the Prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the Princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, 
kill the beast if he shows. And a grateful queen shall reward your woes. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... And no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothed. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet, in deceit like liars. Tonight shall it end, be my wife, that's my plea. Our hearts torment over, we shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man! Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers, as well as for fish. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command? Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's 
right. I, mummers, don't know the Eternal Fire's commandments. Blasphemers, all her teach of respect for the faith. What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes. Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell in the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Ruffle time! Oh, never oh. 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 Sick of them. Geralt, you recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange, both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news, too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. 
Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. Things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the witch hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. No, we all clear? You do, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. We could use a bit of support. Let me talk to Dijkstra, catch him in a good mood, and he just might lend us a few bodies. We'd manage. We would. We're just my lads. But if you miss Siggy that much... He's the one's got a soft spot for me. Said so himself recently. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Oh, Geralt, Geralt, I fear I'd be more successful hunting a beast than you were on stage. Could be. You'd still be wiser not to try. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Poppins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are, your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. <laughs> 